temperatures reaching near 100 degrees today, this type of weather can put anyone in risk for heat injury. It is hot, hot, hot outside. And you know what that means. Swimming, splashing, jumping. Families and friends staying cool in the pool. Just really hot. It's like almost 100 degrees out here. Some doing anything they can to avoid being in the direct sunlight. Staying in the shade, it's pretty nice. Going to the pool, super fun. Lots of sunscreen. But these kinds of temperatures are not always fun in the sun. I've had uh, heat strokes before and that's not very good. Donna is one of the many people who has experienced a heat illness. And it's not uncommon when temperatures can change overnight. In the summer, we have extreme heats. And when we get to those extremes, uh, people clearly aren't acclimated to that. Clinics across the metro are taking patients experiencing heat issues. Doctors say the number one rule is to stay hydrated. Non-caffeinated, non-alcoholic beverages are probably the best thing to rehydrate with and stay hydrated. And Mercy Medical Center tells me a total of six people today so far have experienced heat-related injuries. They also tell me that those common traits include fatigue, dizziness, and losing consciousness.